Hi guys, welcome to another episode of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we'll be playing Nina for her round two. She now lives in the Caliente household next to Don in the old condo where uh, Dina and Mortimer used to live. Um, let's just get into it. I can't wait to see her new baby. All right, here we are at the Caliente household. Nina has the fear of death. Of Daniel and she wants a woohoo in bed. She also wants to get a job in the dancer career. Forgot that's something I was trying to work on her for her. So we'll just go check the catalogs real quick and see if we can find any. Alright, there's nothing in the catalog for her, unfortunately. Um, I kind of want to hold this woohoo in bed want more than the public woohoo want. Does it give more? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'll leave the public woohoo want then. Nina's having some fun painting, I guess. That's fine with me. And I really want to rekindle the love with Don and her. He, She visits him, like, all the time. So I feel like it would be just the same to have her um, invite him over. Oh, they don't have- she doesn't have a cat, so I'll sell that. I'm sorry. Um, and I forgot they have no TV anymore because uh, she lost her room. They lost her TV by getting robbed. I would kind of like to decorate the place to, for like more of Nina's aesthetic, but she only has $2,000, so she doesn't have much money to her name. She has no job. I can't really help her out with that right now, but it'll just stay the whole black and white theme. But in the future, I will decorate it to be more for her colors. So she likes black and pink, so hopefully I can make something a bit interesting with that. She's getting pretty hungry, so why don't we go get some food? Now, she does look like she's in her second trimester, so the baby should be coming soon. Oh yeah, we had Nina getting with- hooking up with the, uh, Darren. I forgot about that, because she wanted to hook up with Darren. Well, maybe we can just call him up and talk to him for a bit, because he was just saying that, uh, he misses her a little. They don't talk enough, I guess. Fulfill that talk want. Oh, now she wants to invite Daniel over. But I think first you're gonna go to bed, because you're pretty exhausted, so let's do that first. Then we'll invite him over tonight. Right, let's ask- let's ask, uh, Mortimer- or Mortimer- Darren- Daniel. Let's call Daniel up and have him come over. Invite him over here. Please, can my friend come over too? Yeah, but it- I hope it's not Kaylin. Well, him and Kaylin are actually not dating anymore. Oh, now she just doesn't care about Daniel. Now she just wants to... He brought Lucy Burb? That's really... That's weird. Oh, they're gonna go casual sit on the couch right away. Really? He brought Lucy over. This is really weird. Lucy, your outfit is terrible. You need a makeover. I didn't give her enough t attention. Everyone's having fun dancing in the living room. He wants to flirt with Daniel now, so let's give him a big old goose. Ooh, now she wants to get hot in here. Yep, give him a makeout. Lucy's like, okay guys, just don't ma bother with me over here. He's just, she's just laughing at Lucy over there. Oh, she wants a woo -hoo in bed. It's getting late though, so I think I'm gonna have him um, go to bed. Have her go to bed. I think tomorrow she'll have a baby. All right, let's have her go to bed. She's exhausted. Tomorrow she should be she should be having her baby, I think. And then we're gonna fulfill these woohoo wants. We'll probably invite Daniel over because she's thinking about him. Whoever she's thinking about, I'll invite over. We'll apply that to them. Let's get some leftover breakfast. She wants to ask the sim out on a date? She wants to make out with three sims. Uh, who have you not made out with? She didn't make out with her landlord. I'm gonna have to call him up then. Well, it's a good thing though, because he's his, he should come see his baby. I don't remember when she got pregnant, actually. Let's just call George up and invite him over. Um, he can stay over here then. George tried to propose to Nina, and the, she Nina's not even in love with George, and I wonder why she said no. She was like, are you kidding? Someone was saying, oh, he was just trying to do it for the baby, and I think I totally agree with that. <laughs> he was trying to be a good man and marry Nina so the baby wasn't alone. Alright, George, get back here. I'm going to make out with you for my 
three sims. There we go. And then we got that one. Now what's she thinking of? She wants a woohoo in the hot tub, woohoo in bed. Alright. I'll just have George hang out until she gives birth, I think. And I think she actually carried the baby late at night, so she will give birth later tonight. I don't know if it'll stay true to that, because she did move out, but we'll see. Darren's thinking about Nina. Nina's getting too tired, so she has to go to bed. I don't think George is going to be able to stay for the birth of his baby. Unless he's just sitting in the hot tub. He is. I think he'll stay then. Oh gosh! Michael Bachelor just scared Nina. Michael, don't be rude. I didn't realize he was haunting. <laughs> I'll have to send him out to the cemetery. I don't think Nina would want her brother-in-law with her living in her house. Forever. I know Marissa just got scared from him. <laughs> Careful, George. There's a ghost around here. Oh my gosh, when is this baby coming? I remember her conceiving the baby really late. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I was about to say, I remember her conceiving the baby really late. George, come here. Your baby's being born. George! Stop drinking the alcohol! <laughs> get over here. It's one baby. It's gonna get the... Um, it's gonna get Nina's last name. Here we go! It's got blonde hair. It's got daddy's hair. And green eyes. It's got Nina's eyes. Unless I think George has green eyes too. It's a girl. Alright, so we are on the letter G actually. Okay, so this name is a bit uh different for me, but I'm going to go with Gigi. <laughs> Her name's gonna be Gigi. Oh, and she didn't die. <laughs> That's good. Oh, Look at little Gigi. Gigi Caliente. <laughs> That's kind of neat that we have uh, George and then Gigi. <laughs> now we can decorate her room real quick. Alright, this is what I got for little Gigi's room. Um, I gave her a, a custom content crib. Let's go give her a bottle. <laughs> Nina's a little bit cold, so let's get her inside too. Uh, I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of, uh, George's features, which won't, uh, help her. <laughs> but, <laughs> at least George was here for the birth of his baby. And now we're gonna go to bed. Alright, it is Tuesday at 7 a.m. We have four days left in winter. Nina's waking up to go get some breakfast. We're gonna need to take care of the baby real quick. We're gonna need to try to find a job for her. Let's, uh, hold Gigi. We're gonna change her diaper. We're gonna feed her a bottle real quick. There we go. I'm gonna put Gigi back in her crib. Wants to ask us to out on a date, meet someone new, influence someone to clean, and serve a meal. Um, you don't have anyone to influence, Nina. Oh, we already have three days left in winter. I forgot the first day was just like her chilling around the house. I think I'm gonna. Ask us him out on a date. I'm just gonna call Don and ask him out on a date here. And they can hang out here. Unless, uh, they roll wants to leave and go. They'll probably want to dine out, but. Um, I don't want her to go out anywhere because she has a baby. Where did Don go? He's getting a drink already. Oh, and they're going to go casual sit right away. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll leave it be. I was trying to ask you on a date, but okay, just get right to it, I guess. <laughs> I think the last time you, um, woohooed on the couch, you got pregnant, Dean, uh, Nina, so I think that was a pretty uh, risky idea. They both want a public woohoo. Maybe I should take them out real quick. We'll have to call a, a nanny for now, then. George, um, this is really awkward, but I'm on a date right now. 
Can we talk later? <laughs> We're gonna have a sexy pillow fight in the kitchen here. Okay, now they just re-rolled all their ones to make out and stuff, so we can do that. Maybe I'll hold the public woohoo want for a little bit longer. Oh, she wants to woohoo with her. Why don't you go woohoo in the, in the hot tub? That would be fine. She wants to have a dream date. They're really close. And I think I'll hold on to this public woohoo one and I'll go to a lot and then they can both uh, woohoo there. What happened? Oh, is Don hungry? Fine, we're gonna go woohoo in the bed then. Uh, they don't want to die now, so I'm just gonna make some food real, real quick for them. Oh, she wants to have a dream date. She has no more wants for him. And, uh... Don just rolled the want to get married to Nina and get married to Vanessa. So, I think I'm gonna roll it. Nina has a chance to get married. She doesn't want to get married to him. He doesn't want to get married to her, but he also wants to get married to her. So, I'm going to roll it. And I don't know, he might get married to Nina or married to Vanessa. Vanessa's a townie, I really don't want him to, but maybe I'll let you guys decide if you don't like it. It was a two. Don's gonna try to marry Nina. <laughs> He's got plenty of time to think it over, though. And you can take it as you want as you interpret it, but... For me, if romance sims roll to want to marry specific sims on their date, I consider that them, like, being, like, you know, he met all these people, he has fears of marrying these people, but then he also has wants of just, like, I think these are the two people that I want to be with. <laughs> but he's unsure. He still has a, you know, fear for both of them. So, I'll let him decide later. Because, uh, Nina's also going to, uh, Think about Daniel a lot because Daniel and her are like soulmates. But that's also an issue. But I think them getting married would be super sweet. Maybe I'll check her one and only. So according to her one and only, her one and only is Don Lothario. So he might actually be able to uh propose to her. I'm gonna check Don's one and only though too. According to Don, his one and only is Nina, so they might get married, you guys. <laughs> Let me know if that's something you'd want to see after this round. Um, I'm going to leave it as, you know, whatever it is. But if, um, whenever we go around to play Dawn again, if you guys want them to get married, let me know. Unless they uh, autonomously propose to each other. You know, that could also happen. I'm just going to let them do whatever the heck they are doing. Seems like they're just hitting on each other upstairs. <laughs> Um, until the baby needs attention or Nina gets too tired or Don leaves one of the few All right, the baby needs some food. So you go feed her, please She is gonna be turning into a toddler and uh, today actually and Nina's up at 9 a.m um, We have two days left in winter. Oh Don left some flowers for Nina. That's sweet I'm um, having her look through the job catalog again and there was still nothing for her. Oh, she's thinking about Dawn. That's sweet. I'm going to dance with Daniel. Woohoo with five different sims. Make out with five different sims. And public woohoo. But I think I'm going to have her invite Dawn out to an outing. And they're going to go public woohoo. They can both do the get their want fulfilled. And it's also Gigi's birthday. So we have to make sure that we're home by then. Can your friend come over? Sure. But I'm going to take you out somewhere. Oh, it's Chico. <laughs> That's sweet. Come, come here. Don't greet Don. You're gonna go woo -hoo, public woohoo with him. Oh, she does not like Chico. Oh, she's got three bolts with Don now. Aw. Oh, Don just became best friends with Chico, finally. You be come with me in an outing? Yeah. So now we're just gonna walk to a community lot together. We'll go to just Dark Allen's. Chico, you're not invited. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't need anybody third wheeling this date, alright? Alright, here we are at Doc Allen's. He wants to soak in the hot tub? Well, guess what, Nina? You're gonna go soak in the hot tub. Alright, we're gonna go casual woohoo in the hot tub. And we're gonna do it, I hope, before Don's girlfriends show up. 
Oh god. Marissa scared me. I thought it was Dina. I forgot to change Dina's hair too. That won't look like that. Can you guys hurry up? My heart like dropped though. I was like, oh my god. There they go. Alright. Awesome. We got that done. We're having a super fun time right now in our own. Uh, I would hope so. Here, let's just ask him on another date. Why not? We're already here. Just, you wanna just be on a date with me? Instead? You wanna woohoo in a car? Guys! You didn't come in a car! Why don't you just go woohoo on the sofa? Oh, they're wooing on the bench outside. That's awkward. <laughs> but at least they're not in front of everyone like uh, Lisa and Chico did. I might just let them take control of this date. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, he's charming her. He's so confident. She's just like... <laughs> Alright, you wanna woohoo again? We're gonna go back in the hot tub. She's scared of marrying Daniel and Don. And now Don wants to woohoo in bed. That's fine. I think you need to go home. Your daughter's gonna age up. I forgot about that. And the date. <laughs> you need to go home. Your daughter's gonna age up without you. Oh man, I still forgot about it. Nina should be home in about an hour. The baby, it's the baby's birthday, so as soon as she comes home, I'm sure she'll be helping her with birthday. Or maybe Karen's coming now. We're gonna watch. I think she's gonna age her up. Here we go. Yep, here she goes. Imagine missing your own daughter's girlfriend or birthday. Oh my god, that hair completely fits her. She's such attitude. Look at her profile picture. <laughs> Oh god, she looks like she looks she looks like a female version of George. She looks so cute. She's got the chubbiest cheeks. She looks like George. She looks exactly like George. <laughs> I think that makes that even better. <laughs> oh look at this cute baby. Look at this. Look at her. She looks like George. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I love the jeans and the sims. <laughs> They're so cute. Alright, there we go. We got her some toys. Um, she should be able to entertain herself now. Here. Why don't you come over here, sweetie? Karen, that is so inappropriate. You're just taking a bath in her bathtub. But to be fair, Nina left you here alone for eight hours. Let's say hi to Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Let's say hi to you. Come here. Oh, that is so cute. And then let's give you a... Let's put you on the toilet, and then we're gonna also give you a bath. Give her a bath, and then she needs to go to bed. We're gonna put him to bed, because it's late. And Chico's still upstairs in her hot tub. I hope he doesn't just get out and then die. That would be pretty traumatizing. That outing yesterday was so great. I thought I'd give you a television to remember our time together. Cool. Thanks, Don. I like cheap televisions. We can put that in our living room. It doesn't match anything else that's in here because we have the most expensive everything except for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her cheeks. She's so cute. I just want to squish him. We're going to teach you how to talk. Well, uh, we wait for it to be morning. Okay, never mind. She don't want to play. Or talk. She wants to play. Fine. You can talk to your rabbit instead. It's snowing again. Let's get a bottle for Gigi. Today is already the last day in winter. Wow. Alright, Gigi. Get your bottle. And then, uh... Let's put you in the toilet. And we'll try to teach her to talk. She might want to talk then. She's got little, such long hair, but it's super cute. <laughs> I want to see her personality. She's a Pisces. She's very neat. She's very outgoing. She's very active. She's pretty serious. And she's very nice. Aww. She got pretty much none of Nina's uh, personality except for her seriousness, I would say. She's so cute. She looks... She's literally exactly like her dad. 
Someone is calling. Please answer that. Oh, it's Don again. Well, I think I'm gonna apply this who in bed want with um Daniel. So let's see if Oh, I don't know. Daniel might be at work today, but we'll see if he's home. Daniel, you wanna come over? Cause she keeps thinking about him, so and then we're gonna go pay these bills while we're at it. Alright, greet Daniel. Come on. Yes, it's snowing. We get that. Greet him. Thank you. And then you guys are gonna go woohoo in the bed. Casual woohoo. Have fun! Man, it snowed a ton again. She wants to woohoo with Daniel in a closet? That's fine. I have to roll this myself though because there is no casual option with the closet. It was an 87, so they, uh, she is not pregnant from this interaction. Oh, Darren's calling her up again. I'm gonna have to call up Darren to make sure their friendship doesn't... They're best friends. That's pretty nice. They're best- they're casually best friends, you know, the one time that she kissed him. Kissed Darren for the first time. <laughs> Let's just give him a call and talk to him real quick so we can keep our friendship up. How's Gigi doing? She will need to get potty trained here. So let's do that real quick. And she needs a bottle she needs to go to bed. And Nina's gonna go to bed herself because she's exhausted. That really takes a toll on you, huh, Nina? Oh, and I have to send, uh, Michael Bachelor away after this. In the morning. We're gonna teach her to talk. I'm gonna teach her at least something before we leave. You can do it, Gigi. You're doing so well. Look at you. Hi, chair. Good job. How about bottle? Bottle, yay. How about teddy bear? Teddy bear. Yay! Oh, she learned how to talk. Good. We taught her something, at least. Oh, she needs to pee. Let's take her to the toilet, then. It is now spring, guys. Michael, can you get into your urn so we can send you away? Please. Uh, we're gonna have Nina get some breakfast then, too, because she's pretty hungry. Goodbye, Michael Bachelor. Thank you for spooking a couple of my sims. Uh, Mortimer and Nina, for sure. And I think Dina as well. Um, but yeah, that is it for this round for Nina Caliente. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate all your support and love for this uh, series that I'm doing. It is very fun. Um, let me know what you think about me getting Nina and Don together. Maybe attempting to marry her like Don wants. Um, I'm going to let it, let you guys take, um, I'm going to let, get your guys' opinions about it first before I do anything. In the next episode, we'll be playing the Broke Household with Brandy and her son Bo and her son Braxton Broke. Um, we will have Bo's birthday, I, I don't know, I think we're going to have Bo's birthday, I'm not sure, I don't, th maybe not. Oh yeah, we're going to have Bo's birthday, Braxton will also age up into a child. Yeah, it'll be great in there. Hopefully Brandy can maybe find some love with someone. I'm not sure who, but we have to find something for her. She's a family sim. I feel like she wants to have more babies. We're going to need to do something for her. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.